not about anything racial. We stand together for our country, black and white, and we stand for the flag. A customer service rep for DirecTV says that they are getting cancellations for some of their Sunday ticket packages for NFL games, and they are offering those customers who aren't happy with the protests a refund, but also the NFL-owned channel Red Zone has also been hit with cancellations. Neil. Incredible. All right, uh, Hillary Vaughn, thank you very, very much. In the meantime, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell meeting with uh, owners and players to discuss protests going forward. Reputation Manager Chairman Eric Schiffer on that. Um, this environment has Goodell in a bit of a pickle, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, Eric, uh, in, in that you, you want to keep your players in line, but you don't want to be constantly yapped about by the President of the United States or, or deal with threatened advertiser and viewer boycotts here. But where do you think this is going, first off? Well, it's interesting, Neil. I think uh, where it's going to go is they're going to pull way back. I think they overreacted to who's, push who's back against the president. Back? I think the NFL. Okay. I think the NFL is going to have to. Uh, and the, the different teams, they overextended themselves to go after the president, define themselves. They then define themselves on behalf of the players. And they alienated uh, this significant swath of uh, viewers that uh, look at the NFL's move as a complete shot at them, a disrespect to the principles and heart of what they believe and certainly uh, patriotism. Uh, and so they're voting. They're going to vote in uh, subscribership with DirecTV and others. They're going to vote with their pocketbook. Uh, and they're making their voice very uh, loud. And certainly advertisers, they have to be aware of this now. And advertisers are, are much like anyone else. In partisan areas like this, it puts them in harm's way. So they're going to bail. All of which is bad for the NFL. It was the worst branding move uh, of modern history in terms of sports, a really bad choice, and Goodell uh, owns it. He made the decision to attack the president, and it was a bad choice. Uh, oh, team owners did as well, but be, that being said, uh, we're getting a news alert here, and I want to pass this along and get your thoughts on it. New Orleans quarterback Drew Brees says his team will kneel and then stand for the national anthem before the game against Miami. I, I think that one's going to be in London. Now, that would be very similar to what Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys did. Um, and I, I said at the time, I wonder if that would be the template going forward. Uh, stand in unison or kneel in unison, stand for the national anthem itself. Uh, what do you think? Could that give them cover, face-saving cover for, for, for both sides? I don't know about the kneeling because it's, presupp it's too tied to what has happened. I gotcha. think you could see a standing. Uh, where everyone comes together and they join together. That's a so very in this uh, case, the, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but when New Orleans is, is going to kneel, presumably before the national anthem, and then like the Cowboys, this is come, coming from Drew Brees, his idea, and then stand for the national anthem, that template still has problems, still has issues. Because we saw I think it has it, the big issue it, you know, in the Thursday night game was that the audience didn't go along. The, 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 the hope was, the Green Bay Packers' hope was, the players' hope was that you know, Aaron Rodgers wanted everyone to lock arms in the stands, and, and most of them opted not to. But so what do you make of that? That's right. Yeah, and I agree. And I think that that would not be the right choice. I think it, uh, the fans are going to look at that as a continuation of uh, some level of anti-patriotism. When you're talking about the conservative fans, those that view what uh, the NFL is advocating, either direct or indirectly, to be a complete disrespect of the principles of, the, of what they hold dear and those of uh, the military and those who have served this country to make it great, it's a bad move. Look, the NFL... But is it going to extend to the uh, companies that advertise on these games and even before and after these games? You know, I know DirecTV offered, you know, money back for those who have their Sunday ticket, you know, football games and all the rest. But so far, no other big advertiser has felt the need to do so or to either cut back or remove ads from these broadcasts. Are we getting close to that if this continues, or, or what's your sense? I think so. And really? I think you're going to see more of it. Yeah, I do. Of course, because they don't want, no one wants to get a hit to their 
uh, revenues. And the NFL is going to see it. These advertisers, if they continue, and especially if some of the groups that are uh, targeting these advertisers on behalf of what is going on continue those actions, hmm. then these advertisers are going to make a move. And that's part of what's happening here. You're seeing uh, groups, special uh, groups that are targeting uh, these advertisers because they're against what the advertisers are supportive of in terms of the NFL and they want to make their statement known and therefore the advertisers are getting even more focus and so that's a problem for them all right uh, you're pretty smart on this stuff you know that Eric thank you very very much I appreciate it my my pleasure Neil good all to right. be with you uh, Eric Schiffer